Hello, my name is Victoria Allen and I'm Head of Media Studies at Thomas Rotherham Sixth Form College. Here at TRC, we encourage every single one of our students to reach their potential. And along with our GCSE, AS and A2 qualifications, the Media Studies Department here encourage students to achieve excellence in production skills and gain a comprehensive understanding of how media industries work and the effect that media has on ideas and society. This foundation, along with our work experience connections, allows all learners to take their interest in media to the next level at HE, to aim higher to achieve a career in a range of professions including graphic design, marketing, journalism, television production, script writing and photography. To help you aim higher, we have put together this short documentary, featuring the views of some of our students who have gone on to take media related courses at university. We hope this will help you gain an insight into the skills that you will learn with us. There is also some advice from our work experience partners and local HE staff that will help you aim higher. How have I found the media course? Well, I think I've really enjoyed it actually because it's what I want to do in the long term, what I want to do at university, because um, I want to do digital film production. So um, it's, it's given me some skills and um, abilities that I can use at university, like um, using Premiere, because they use programmes like that at uni. Um, also, with the magazines and the documentary, it's let me use a uh, software that I'll be using, you know, all the cameras everything like that, and editing. So yeah, I, and that's the sort of thing I really like. The course has helped me for the future because it's um, given me different abilities, mainly for media and for film because I'm going to be using that sort of thing at uni. Um, but also, just also analysing things and being able to analyse text and um, you see film every day and TV and it, it, when I watch it now I, I put it together, I try and think how I could do it, that sort of thing, so it's not just watching it and enjoying it, I think about it a lot more. Um, it prepares you for the future in a lot of ways, for example I've been wanting to do journalism at university, so a lot of the equipment used and software used, um, it gives me good insight into that, for example I know people who do media courses at other places and we don't get to use certain software, like taking photos for example, like before I just used to not think about how to put photos and now you have to think about composition and rule affairs. I think my communication skills have developed a lot during the course. For example, we had to work in a group in A2 and I think the communication between sharing bits using the software, you can't all do everything at once, you've got to share the bits out and know which bits everybody's good at. There's been lots of like things outside the actual world level to do. Um, for example, I took part in um, a documentary pitch Last year we got to pitch a documentary to um, a group of people at um, Sheffield University which that was quite good insight into how you, you know, pitch ideas basically which will work well in my own career. I want to sort of go into like a media field so maybe the like sound editing's given me a path into like radio etc, um, the print side's given me, well tracking to print obviously, um, and just like creating my own publications and stuff as well and just learning how to write decent news pieces and you know, record like video diaries or whatever. It's just given me that sort of interest in media. Uh, well, I've used Photoshop in the past, so I've got a bit of a, a bit of knowledge about that. Uh, but things like this year, like we were doing the video projects, had no idea uh, really how to use Premiere in detail. Like I'd done it briefly, but not very much. It, it sort of gave me that backing to do it myself and like independently and edit something from start to finish and you know film that sort of stuff. Like I've never worked with like professional cameras or. Uh, professional microphones or anything so it sort of just gave me an insight into sort of which interests of media uh, I have a particular interest in and I think I've found that print is definitely uh, more my calling than the video <laughs> I've never been so stressed so yeah definitely uh, the print element is uh, good. Um, I would say definitely like pitching ideas to like a bigger class like that's what I had to do this year uh, in terms of my media project uh, it gave me a lot of confidence to go out and get feedback and maybe take on board the feedback I'm not very good with taking feedback usually but this year obviously it's been like an essential tool uh, so it's really given me the confidence to go forward and use that. Um, I would also say sort of teamwork in like the class environment to give me a lot more confidence to talk to people who maybe I would never have anything in common with before. Uh, projects sort of worked on my own uh, but still meeting like new people and you know organising photo shoots and telling them what I wanted to do and stuff like that. You know it sort of gave you the dominant edge that maybe I didn't have before so a lot more confidence from the class. 
Um, well, in media, I think it's quite laid back in a sense that you've not got, it's not like at school when you've got teachers on it here all the time, so you've always got, you know, your own, you've got to do it yourself basically. And when you're at uni, it's even worse as in, well, it's not worse, but you have to do it yourself. You can't rely on teachers. They, they are there to help, but you've got to do it yourself, which is good for independence. Um, well, I think they really enjoy the A2 year, filming and editing, because that's quite good. Um, and actually do your work on time and get it done because otherwise it's just so much harder, you know, just trying to get it all done it afterwards it just takes a make. <laughs>
you're, ne you're never going to get a paid job, not for the first couple of years anyway, because none of these magazines make any money. I, I would say, just get in there, just contact them all, say, can I send you some stuff? That's what they used to do with me, and we ended up with some great journalists. We ended up with we journalists working for Days and Confuse and The Telegraph. My name is Trevor Grosset from Red Road FM, and I'm Business Development Manager, um, and my job um, gives me the responsibility for developing new and existing opportunities um, for Red Road FM. Red Road FM is a small scale, uh, not for profit radio station which serves like a local community and actually it's for the good of the local community. It's all about creating a better place for young people to live. When you're actually employing someone, in, especially in a business like this, you're actually looking for good communication skills, teamwork skills. Obviously, you want people to be able to work from their own initiative, but you do want them to display that they're able to work as a, as a team. Good technological skills um, or an understanding of technology and media. Um, that might be about using computers, software packages, um, etc. etc. But we'd expect an employee to have a, a good understanding of, of those areas. Um, in an industry like this as well, you'd like to think that your employees had a passion for either music um, or information sharing or for people, for working with people. Volunteering, I think, for me, it actually demonstrates that you can actually do those things what you actually want to go into. As an employer, um, somebody who's volunteered would have demonstrated to me that they can actually work as a team, they've got good time management, um, potentially, uh, they can take part in things, they can follow instructions. So there's a lot of skills which you can actually gain from volunteering which are transferable into education or further employment. A young person, if they volunteer from Red Road, um, can actually take part in an in actual project or prog programme that actually is for young people. So it gives young people an opportunity really to um, have a voice in their local areas. As well, um, I'd say it shows the older generation um, that young people can actually make positive contributions to the community. It, it, it really, really benefits the young person sociably as well as educationally. Yeah, volunteering at Red Road as well will give you an experience what an employer wants. Employers want people who have actually got work experience. They don't really like employing people who haven't got a track record. So you'll be able to build up a track record at Red Road FM. As well, you'll be able to leave all being well with a very credible portfolio, reference or CV. We can help you to admire by actually giving you an opportunity to make the most of, of, of an opportunity in the media industry. Um, if as a young person you can show great focus and determination and dedication, then um, this will enable you to um, reach to wherever you're going to um, and, and do like what's been asked, um, actually am I? I believe that you've got to be in it to win it. That might be training, it might be volunteering, it might be gigging, it, it could be researching. Whatever it is, you've, you've just got to keep in it. After a matter of time, um, you're actually in it and before you know it, you'll actually be actually earning a living from what you want to do.